Okay, so Doogie, tell us what uh, what you think is in store for the 2012 season. Well, it's hard to tell, but we've last two years, right? We've had hard winters, and ended up we've had two brilliant seasons. Now this year has been very mild, so it makes you wonder: is going to be a dry year after so much rain we've had? Yeah. And it's going to be well. Would you a dry year? So it's after all the wet years we've had. We've had a lovely up four, five, six years probably. And now this, we're, we're due a dry year and it's going to come. It was this year, I'm hoping. And looking back on the 2011 season, what was the highlight for you? Highlight? Uh, I think it's been because we had a nice wet summer and there was lots of fish about. And all the beats were catching, which was good for everybody. That's grand, thank you. Jordi, tell us what you think's in store for the 2012 season. Well, just hope it's as wet as it was the last couple of seasons. If it is, I think it numbers of fish. I think we might just attain this for slightly bigger fish in the summer months. I think the springers will be just as good as they were last year. Hope they are. Yeah. Hopefully they are. And just hope there's plenty of rain. Uh, we hope for. Always helps, isn't it? And looking back on the 2011 season, what would you say your personal highlight was? My personal highlight? Yeah, that's an easy one. Watching Duncan Laird catch a salmon on the Brock Hill week now on the second last day of the season. And how old's Duncan? Nine. There you go, nine year old getting his first salmon, yeah. that's not bad. Is it? That's pretty good. Good stuff, thanks Jordy. So Pat, do you want to tell us what do you think's in store for 2012 season? Well Glenn, if it's anything to go by the last two years, it'll be excellent. Thurston River has never been better since they stopped in eight, six years ago. Yeah, and the quality of fish we had last year was just superb. Everything was just 10 or 15 pounds and bigger. In fact, myself personally, I had two over 20 pounds. Right, that's very good. Excellent fish. Yeah. And do you think we're going to see that same kind of number of fish and quality of fish in 2012? Well, hopefully, and hopefully we'll get more drills in 2012 because they were a bit scarce in 2011. Yeah. Definitely. That's very true. Why, I don't know. Well, the highlight was the Somerville party from Edinburgh. I was Gillian for them, and they had 58 fish for the week. And they were just absolutely delighted. They, they didn't keep many of that. They kept six or eight fish, as long as they got a fish each of them. They were just delighted. Yeah. There was another highlight. I had a guest fish in this pool just right behind my back. And he hooked a fish on the tail fly about 10, 12 pounds. And whilst playing them, a girl said three goals at trying to catch the dropper, jump and clean it the water. <laughs> oh, it was very funny. Well, that would have been someone else to get two at once, eh? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Hoping that he wouldn't have catch the dropper. Ah, well, that's true. Or it would have been cut inside, yeah. Very good, thanks, Pat. Oh, no bother.
So can you tell us who was casting the first fly this morning and uh, who's given the toast? Well, Pat Quinn uh, cast the first fly of the season and the toast was given by Alan Clasmer, a local JP. The, the, uh, Pat Quinn has been coming to the Thursday for 20 plus years uh, and he fell in love with the place so much that he's actually here at present. He's in the process of buying a house to, to move up here. And what do you think is in store for the 2012 season? Uh, it, it, it is a difficult one because each season is just so very, very different. Uh, and I would just say, if, if we have water, we'll have fish. That's grand, thank you. Okay. So